Here is your latest church news summary from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to get to Tradcat Night, the number one ranked traditional Catholic website worldwide by Alexa, ranked within the top 30,000. We are by far the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website, keeping you up to date on all the latest church news, all the latest apostasy since Vatican II, of which a new religion has been implemented the Novus Ordo religion, under the guise of Catholicism and its leading souls, objectively speaking, into a formalized one-world religion. We pray the pseudo-traditionalists wake up, but until they do, we have to continue to resist them. Heading into the first news story here for September 3rd, 2016, we have, of course, following up on Francis's latest Captain Planet move, environmentalism, which is uh, uh, now becoming doctrine of the new world orders religion. We must repent of the harm we are doing to the earth. This very much is the backbone of what Pope St. Pius X warned us, warned us of, the impotent humanitarianism. Again, Francis in talking about all of these things, and yes, there is climate change, ladies and gentlemen. There is climate change going on. But it's not our refrigerators. It's not playing your Nintendo system 24 hours a day constantly. Planet X is incoming. And then there's also geoengineering uh, factors. So the, vein, the same very people who are talking about all these changes are actually harming the Earth uh, largely uh, through geoengineering. And it's just another way for them to control us, eventually tax people more. But in his message for the Second World Day uh, of Prayer for the cre uh, Care of Creation, Francis invites Catholics to repent of the harm we are doing to our common home, of our sins against creation, the poor, and future generations, and invites everyone to take steps towards an ecological conversion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Vatican II does not teach conversion to the Catholic faith anymore. It's called outdated ecclesiology. Check Bellamont Agreement, Pope John Paul II, 1993. Proselytism is nonsense. Every pope has said that since. But you must have an ecological conversion. This is the madness we are talking about. This is not the Catholic religion, folks. Oh, buddy. Going to CNA News, Turkson, the environmentalist puppet of Francis, talks about how the human person is central for the care of creation. This being reported upon by Hannah Brockhaus uh, as the Catholic and Orthodox worlds unite to celebrate a day of prayer for the care of creation. The Vatican Social Justice Head, a.k.a. When you see social justice, that's, that's an a.k.a. for socialism. Uh, the head... Uh, of the department is offering a reminder that the human person must be at the center of the efforts to better the environment. Of course, the human person is central because per Vatican II teaching, that's exactly what it says, <laughs> which is the second step in Satanism, as Father Hess has pointed out. Man-centered religion of Vatican II. It's very simple. The core of development is the human person, and that's why Benedict referred to the development as a vocation. It's a vocation that we have and is basically a spiritual reference, said environmentalist puppet Turkson. Moving along, coming from calcatholic.com, NorCal Retreat Center Housing Refugees, the San Damiano Retreat Center in Danville, offers temporary lodging for single Muslim male refugees. Now, the following uh, has come from the National Catholic Reporter, so they are actually reblogging it. Franciscan brother Michael Minton has already been attending Friday prayers at a local mosque to further his understanding of Islam when he read an urgent appeal from the Jewish Family and Community Services of East Bay. They desperately need temporary, temporary housing for single Muslim male refugees whom the agency was charged with resettling. Yep, that's what we need to do. We need to go out and learn other religions. Sadly, this brother doesn't even know, know his own religion. <laughs> or maybe he does. And he's pulling people 
along with them, stringing them out. I don't know. This is the madness we're talking about, folks. Vatican II is not Catholic. Coming from, well, a wide variety of sources. Angel Queen, one of them. Italy's most traditionally friendly bishop resigns at 72. So the purge of quote-unquote traditionally friendly bishops continues. And again, everyone kind of has their own concept of tradition. The pseudo-traditionalists, some of them, except Vatican II, they label themselves traditional. We wouldn't, in our right minds, label these people traditional. Uh, so I am not familiar with this particular bishop. I'll have to look more into it. But nevertheless, as predicted, the traditional friendly bishop, uh, Monsignor Oliveri, has been retired by Francis at the age of 72, as was announced in this day's Bulletin of the Holy See. Francis has accepted the resignation of Monsignor Oliveri from the pastoral governance of the Diocese of Albania Imperia, right there in Italy. Uh, for successor, Francis appointed uh, Monsignor Borghetti, former bishop coadjutor. Moving along in the news, we have coming from the National Catholic Register, quote-unquote National Catholic, uh, Archdiocese of Newark stands ground and firing guidance counselor over gay marriage. The Archdiocese is, is a defendant in a lawsuit alleging Paramus Catholic High School unlawfully fired coach and guidance counselor Kate Drumgool after learning of her same-sex union. So the Catholic Archdiocese of Newark is fighting an anti-discrimination lawsuit in state uh, court challenging a decision by one of their high schools to fire a guidance counselor whom they had recently discovered entered into a legal quote-unquote marriage with another woman. So here we have uh, individuals trying to do the right thing and we'll see how that turns out but nevertheless uh, the persecution continues. We have being reported upon by Bradley Eli, quote-unquote Catholic-run clinics dispensing contraception. Spokesman, clinics will provide 30-day refills for contraceptive pills. Catholic-run health clinics are providing birth control pills at 26 Walgreens stores in St. Louis, Missouri, including four clinics, clinics in Illinois. On August 24th, the SSM Health Medical Group, a nonprofit Catholic, quote unquote, hospital system assumed operation of these walk in clinics, changing their name to SSM Health Express Clinic at Walgreens. SSM is a trademark originally standing for the Sisters of St. Mary, who in 1922 laid the foundation in St. Louis for what would grow later into a multi million dollar health network. After SSM assumed ownership, Jason Merrill. Uh, their spokesman confirmed that these Catholic-operated clinics will provide 30-day refills for contraceptive pills previously prescribed by a physician. And so this is another story for us to uh, continue to watch. I know Michael Hickborn does a good job of keeping uh, track of these uh, stories of corruption and scandal. Uh, moving along, ChristianToday.com is reporting, and actually this, this new story is starting to spread, uh, Hazel Torres, specifically, Virgin Mary statue weeps in Honduras, and priest says it's not fake. The worshipers are baffled. There have been previous uh, reports of statues or images of the Virgin Mary shedding tears, but the latest one in, uh, in Honduras is different. Here, a priest identified as Father Lopez affirmed that he was certain uh, the weeping statue of the earthly mother of Jesus in the Honduran town of Danley has not been faked. The mirror reports, however, Father Lopez said he too, just like others, had no idea what was causing the unusual occurrence. Baffled worshippers first noticed the tears on the, on the eyes and cheeks of the Virgin Mary statue at the Catholic uh, University of Honduras uh, at the weekend, a video footage shows tears welling up in the statue's eyes before they are falling down again we have to keep our eye on this Maitreya claims a lot of these weeping madonnas including uh various sites uh, such as medjugorje one spreading in the southeast united states one in georgia it's right there on their website i would just be curious to know if there's any sort of messages attached it doesn't seem 
uh, as though right now, but we got to be careful of extraordinary prodigies and signs, said Our Lady of La Salette, because the true faith is given up. Now, PJ Media is reporting Mormons and quote-unquote Catholics are teaming up in a collective resolve to help new refugees into the USA. So, some One World Religion Watch news, if you will. The Mormons uh, gave a huge donation to the Catholic Church this week to assist <coughs> the latter's efforts in aiding newly arrived refugees through 80 diocesan resettlement offices across the country. Now, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops said the 1.2.5 million gift from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to their Migration and Refugee Services offices comes in the form of cash, donated food, and goods. So, once again, some One World Religion Watch news. And lastly, in closing, we have Cardinal Burt coming out uh, on the push for United States bishops to shift priorities uh, away from this whole in, uh, immigration poverty issues back onto life and uh, marriage issues uh, Colonel Burke called it an absolute contradiction for poverty immigration and environment to be uh, placed by leading US prelates on the same priority level as protecting and defending life in the family all of these questions have moral importance but there can be no question uh, also in the long tradition of not only the church's thinking but also a philosophical reason. Uh, the fundamental question has to be the question of human life itself, the respect uh, for the inviolable dignity of human life, its cradle and source uh, in the union of a man and woman in a marriage according to God's plans. Again, from our perspective, we keep Colonel Burke in prayers, but he's still being deceived by Vatican II. Uh, we can't, unfortunately, go along uh, with these conservative types uh, hopefully they do see what the Archbishop, uh, the, the modern-day St. Athanasius, Archbishop Lefebvre, truly said uh, as a backbone. That is the position that we follow. Vatican II simply needs to go away, and so we have to continue to pray. Remember to continue to pray for the Pope, for prelates, for priests, for poor souls in purgatory, for purgatory, and then also poor sinners who are struggling uh, with mortal sins, with vices, let us keep all of these individuals in prayer. Now, for all of your latest church news, subscribe right here to Tradcat Night. Be sure your friends and family are aware. Tradcat Night is the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website worldwide. Spend 15 minutes at least a day on the website. Please, if you can, if you haven't already, try to make an effort to consistently donate to Tradcat Night. Hit that PayPal button. If you've been with us a month or so, please get in the fight with us. Again, when you give, you give to Jesus. This is his work. It's not mine. It's not personal income. We reinvest it. We have a strong social media team, and we continue to seek further and further uh, visibility, spreading uh, the message of Fatima. Also, please visit our sister site, orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. If you have news tips, articles, videos, or blogs, please send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com for review. And lastly, if you have suggestions for radio show, uh, special guest, please send me your your list of names that you would like to see on along with the email contacts. I need those email contacts as well so I don't have to go searching and surfing for them. And I'll be sure to try to get them on. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.